everybody. I'm Miss Beth from Essex Public Library and welcome to Storytime at Home. Let's begin with our welcome song, The More We Get Together, and use the signs that we've learned from American Sign Language, or A-S-L. That's the language that people who can't hear and live in North America use to talk to each other with. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And how about a little bread and butter, marmalade and jam? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. <clears throat> hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello! Well, I wonder what in our world our story will be about today. Hmm. I wonder who knows. What's that? <gasps> brown bear. That's a great idea. The only problem is that brown bear is still <coughs> asleep. On the count of three, will you help me call out, wake up brown bear, and we'll see if we can get him to rise. One, two, three. Wake up brown bear. I see some movement. He's getting out from under the covers. Oh, he's combing his fur and brushing his teeth, buttoning up his shirt and, and tying his bow. Here he comes. Brown Bear Buddy, welcome to Storytime at Home. We're so glad you could join us today. Do you know what our story is going to be about? It's about an animal with a tail. Well, that makes sense because right now we're having our summer learning program at the library, Tales and Tales. You know, like the tail on the end of a rabbit and the tail like a story that's in a book. Come on over and we'll show you some more. Oh, so this isn't about, this story is about an animal who has a tail. Let's see, it could be, what do you think? A tiger maybe? Or what about um, a jaguar? Or maybe a wolf? No, no, no. Much smaller, uh, smaller. Okay, let's see, smaller than a wolf. That would be maybe a rabbit. Or how about a lizard? Nope, even smaller. It's about a creature who uses its strong paws to dig tunnels. Tunnels, 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 tunnels. Let's see, dogs sometimes dig. Uh, rabbits sometimes dig, uh, beavers sometimes dig, any of those? No, even smaller. Moles, moles, oh, 
Moles are in my yard all the time, and my goodness, they leave big mole holes and dig all these tunnels. Well, let's get started so we can find out more about the mole in our story today. <sighs> How about we get started with waking up our hands since moles are such good diggers and use their hands or paws a lot. So stand on up for me because you're gonna need to move your body parts. Listen carefully and see if you can do what the motions tell us to. I wake up my hands with the clap, 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 clap. I wake up my hands with the clap, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Let's do our feet next. Can you stomp? I wake up my feet with the stomp, 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 stomp. I wake up my feet with the stomp, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. How about our head? I wake up my head with a nod, 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 nod. Nod, nod, nod. I wake up my head with a nod, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. What about your belly? I wake up my belly with a beep, 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 beep. I wake up my belly with a beep, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. What about our eyes? Can you blink? I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 blink. I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Do you know where your hips are? Right over here. Put your hands on your hips and we're gonna shake them, shake, shake. I wake up my hips with the shake, 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 shake. I wake up my hips with the shake, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Wow. Did you get your wiggles out? You didn't? Do we need to do some more movement? Well, let's do some jumping. Can you jump? <gasps> Look at you jump. Can you hop? Oh, I see you hopping too, like a rabbit even. Oh, can you clap? And what happens when I say, stop? Can you freeze? <gasps> Look at you freeze. Oh, uh, can you nod your head yes? Or maybe shake it? No. And then we're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna sit down really slow. I can jump, jump, jump. I can hop, hop, hop. I can clap, clap, clap. I can stop, stop, stop. I can shake my head yes, or nod my head yes and shake my head, no. I can bend my knees a little. Are you bending your knees? And sit down very slow. Get up one more time and let's do it. We can jump, jump, jump. We can hop, hop, hop. We can clap, clap, clap. We can stop. We can nod our heads, yes. We can shake our heads, no. We can bend our knees a little and sit down very slow. So nice. How are you free up feeling out there today? Oh, I'm glad to hear it. I like being happy myself. You're feeling good. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If 
you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Can you stomp your feet? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Can you shout hooray? If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Are you ready for a story? <gasps> if you're ready for a story, do a three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! If you're ready for a story, do a three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! If you're ready for a story, then I'm ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, do a three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Hooray! Our story today is Moles Hill, written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. I brought a picture of a mole to show you what one looks like. And I also did some research in another library book about moles called The Superpower Field Guide About Moles. I learned so much cool stuff about the moles in this book. The first thing I learned was that moles are about the size of a potato. Mm-hmm. And I also learned that moles can barely see, but they have a great sense of smelling. And the other thing I learned about them is that they have the most powerful paws of almost any animal. They can dig through almost anything. And not only can they dig through almost anything, they make incredible homes for themselves underground. Can you see all the tunnels that this mole has dug? It even has different rooms for different things. Like it likes to eat worms, so it keeps a little grocery store of worms right below where it likes to live. Oh, it's sleep. And I told you that it can dig tunnels, right? Well, it's not very roomy in the tunnels, so that when the mole wants to go back the other direction, the mole can do a somersault by putting its head between its legs and then just traveling the other way. Can you see it happening in these pictures? Oh, you wanna see what a mole looks like. Let me get that picture. Now this is a big picture because remember in real life, they're rather small, not too big, like the size of a big potato. But here's a mole right here. I wanted you to see that he has a tail, so it goes with our theme. And here's a picture of a mole and its great big digging paws. You can see how powerful they are. And then I brought one more picture of a mole because it shows you how cute they are. Look, he has a cute pink nose. And I don't know if you can see, but he has a very teeny tiny eye. But he looks very friendly in this picture. Let's read our story, Mole's Hill, and find out what happens to this mole in this book. Look, there are those words again, Mole's Hill a woodland tail. That must ha mean that it's happening in the woods. Oh, look at all those flowers. It was dark in the woods, but not everyone was sleeping. The stars were out and so was Fox. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Fox knew that sound. It was Mole digging a tunnel. Another hump of dirt, snarled Fox. Where there's a mole, there's 
a mess. Digging tunnels was what Let Mole did best. Always on the lookout for a juicy worm for breakfast. But once in a while, she took a break and popped outside. That's when she found the note. It says, Mole. Oh. Dear Mole, meet us tonight at the apple at the maple tree fox skunk raccoon hmm what do you think it's about let's see when the sun went down mole hurried to the meeting we're planning a path to the pond said fox and your hill is in our way it must go Goodness. Oh. Fox says when the maple leaves turn red and orange, you'll have to move, said Raccoon. Better listen to Fox. He's got big teeth. <gasps> Mole's snout quivered. This was not good news. Oh my. Do you know what season it is when the maple leaves turn red and orange? Fall, that's right. Hmm. Mole went home. She didn't want to move. She loved her home right where it was. Suddenly, she had an idea. Let's see what it is. Some days later, Raccoon and Skunk strolled by Mole's hill. It looked bigger. I wonder what Mole is up to, Raccoon said. Hmm. She must be digging more deer. Each night, Mole kept digging and digging, dumping the dirt on top of her hill. Many moons passed. The hill grew bigger and bigger. It was time for the next step. Oh, can you see the moon? First, there's no moon, and then a crescent, and a half moon, all the way to a full moon, and then it wanes all the way back again and grows again. Mole gathered seeds she had saved and waited for the full moon. She climbed her hill, planting the seeds in the dirt as she went along. Oh. I think I saw these in her, in her home, in her tunnels, her burrow. <gasps> Soon the flower seeds grew up and burst into bloom and the grass seeds inched up and made a furry carpet. Wow, look at that. All of those flowers can you even find Mole in this picture? Let's see. Oh, oh, there she is. Mole enjoyed her hill for the rest of the summer. Then one day, the maple leaves turned red and orange. Just like that, summer was over. Raccoon and Skunk had forgotten all about Mole, so when Fox sent them to see if she had moved, they were in for a big surprise. What a hill, said Raccoon. What a pickle, said Skunk. If we make Mo Mole move now, she'll take this great hill with her. Fox was not going to believe this. Oh, I'm glad that they like it. Of course, Fox didn't like it. He had to see that hill with his own two eyes. Mole knew he'd come sooner or later. She was waiting. What does she have for Fox? 
Fox circled Mole's Hill on his four furry feet. I've been thinking, he said, what we need is a tunnel. That then our path could go through your hill. Could you dig it, Mole? I can, said Mole. And she did. Wow, that's a much better ending to the story than I thought was going to happen at first. Mole didn't have to move, and Fox, Raccoon, and Skunk got a tunnel to the pond. I'm sure that Mole can visit there too. Can you name any other animals that like to dig? Yes, dogs like to dig. They say that dogs like to dig a hole and bury a bone. Or sometimes they like to dig after something, maybe like a vole. Shall we do a counting rhyme about 10 little dogs? Will you count to 10 with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little dogs went out one day to dig, 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 and play, play, play. Five were spotted and five were not. And at dinner time, they ate a lot. Um, 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 um. Let's do it again. Ten little dogs went out one day to dig, 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 and play, play, play. Five were spotted and five were not. And at dinner time, they ate a lot. Mm. Well, my paws or my hands are not strong enough to dig a hole. I like to use a shovel instead. But my hands have 10 little fingers that can do a lot of things. Let's do 10 little fingers together. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, 10 little fingers on my hand. They wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Wiggle and they wiggle and they wiggle all together. Ten little fingers on my hand. They clap and they clap and they keep on clapping. Clap and they clap and they keep on clapping. Clap and they clap and they keep on clapping ten little fingers on my hand one little two little three little fingers four little five little six little fingers seven little eight little nine little fingers ten little fingers on my hands well friends i had a lot of fun today I hope you did too. It's time for our goodbye song, Wave High, Wave Low. Wave high, wave low. Now it's time we've got to go. Wave your elbows, wave your toes, wave your tongue, and wave your nose. Wave your ears and wave your eyes. Wave both hands and say goodbye. Bye, friends.